Hello everyone, welcome back to Savi Tutorials. Today we will start up with the second type problems in module 2 in basic geotechnical engineering. We will see what is the second type of problem in compaction curve. Here the problem is the following are the observation of the compaction test wherein the given data is water content and then the weight of the wet soil which is in Newton. Next. They have also given the volume of the compaction mold as 950 cc assuming specific gravity G as 2.64. Draw compaction curve that is we need to draw the compaction curve from that we need to calculate what is the maximum dry density and the optimum moisture content. Also we need to draw 100% saturation line. Okay. Before plotting the graph for compaction, first we will do the calculation. So for compaction on the x axis you have water content, on the y axis you have dry unit weight. But here they have given you only the water content and weight of the soil sample. So for each and everything they have given the weight. Next we will calculate bulk unit weight. How to calculate bulk unit weight? So formula for bulk unit weight is weight of the soil sample divided by the volume of the mold. So weight of the mold it is given in Newton so it is 16.7. We need to convert the 16.7 into kilo Newton so it should be 10 to the power minus 3. Volume of the mold is given that is 950 cc. So you need to convert that into millimeter meter cube so it into 10 to the power minus 6. So when you calculate this you will get the value as, as uh, 17.57 kilo Newton per meter cube. So this is the first bulk unit weight value that is 17.57. In the same way you need to substitute all these values in this formula and calculate the bulk unit weight for each and every trial. So the for, so for the next thing it is 19.52. Next it is 20.97, again it is 20.54, 20.24 and last it is 19.82. Now after calculating the bulk unit weight, the next thing is that you need to calculate the dry unit weight. As we know the formula for dry unit weight that is equal to bulk unit weight divided by 1 plus the water content. So we have already calculated what is the bulk unit weight substitute that value that is 17.57 divided by we know the water content with respect to this that is 7.7 .7. it is in percentage so divided by 100. So dry unit weight value is 16.31 kilo Newton per meter cube. So that is 16.31. In the same way calculate for all the trials. So here this is 17.54, 18.29, 17.48, Okay. The next thing is that they have asked us to calculate or they have asked us to draw 100% saturation line. So for this you need to calculate what is the dry unit weight with respect to 100% saturation line. So to calculate zero air void or 100% saturation line we have a formula that is gamma d is equal to g gamma w divided by 1 plus w g by sr. So we will go on substituting these value g is already given in the question so g is 2.65 we already know the unit weight of water is 9.81 1 plus w for the first trial what is the value of w that is 7.7 .7 divided by 100 again we know what is d g is 2.65 divided by this is 100 percent saturation line so your sr value will be 1 in case if you want to calculate for 80 percent saturation line your sr value will be nothing but 0.8 so do the calculation so you will get the value around 21.59 kilo Newton per meter cube. So this is the density with respect to zero air void line or 100% saturation line for the first trial that is 21.59. In the same way you need to calculate for all the other trials also. So for the next thing it is 19.92. Next 
17.12 and 16.63 now the calculation part is completed now we'll move on to the plotting of graph so for plotting the graph we need two values that is water content and dry unit weight so you have water content here you have dry unit weight here so fix the scale first first see the values of water content so your water content values it will range from 7 to 21 so it can be put in the range of 2% difference. So I have taken the scale as 7, 9, 11, 12 till 23. In the same way when you are plotting the, when you are locating the scale for the y axis you should observe two values. One is the dry unit weight value, another one is the dry unit weight with respect to 100% saturation line. So you need to locate the least value in this and then the highest value. So the least value is considered to be 16.31 and the highest value is considered to be 21.59. So I will start with 16 and end up with 22. Now I will start plotting the graph for water content and dry unit weight in which you will get a compaction curve. First water content, locate water content values and the dry unit weight values. So first thing is 7.7 .7 and 16.31. Next 11.5 and 17.5. Next 14.6 and 18.21. Next 17.5 and 17.48. Next it is 19.5 and 16.94. Next 21.2 and 16.35. Now join all these points. So this is called as compaction curve. From the compaction curve you can calculate what is OMC and MDD. From the peak point draw a vertical line and then you can draw the horizontal line. To calculate what is OMC and MDD. So OMC here will be equal to 14.6% and MDD here will be equal to 18.6 kilo Newton per meter cube. So after that you need to plot dry unit weight with respect to 100% saturation line. So you need to locate water content on the x axis and dry unit weight on. So the first point is 7.7 .7 and 21.59. So 7.7, 21.59. Next you have 11.5 and 19.92. 11.5 and 19.92. Next. 14.6 and 18.73, 14.6 and 18.73, next 17.5 and 17.74, 17.5 17.74 next it is 19.5 and 17.12 next it is 21.2 and 16.63 21.2 and 16.63 join all these point So 
so this is your line for 100% saturation and this curve you call it as compaction curve so this is the final outcome of this graph you will be calculating 100% saturation line and then the compaction curve from the compaction curve you will calculate what is omc and what is mdd